sometimes you want people to be able to upload a file through the form. So how do we do that? In Laravel, just like everything else, it's quite simple. First, we need to create a form input with type of file. So I'm just going to copy and paste this form group. This is going to be input type is going to be file. And the name is going to be attachment. Okay, let's see how it looks. Great. And under the form element, we need to create a new attribute called ENC type. And it is going to be equals to multipart slash form data. Now, without this, you won't be able to send the files through the form. So let's get back to the contact post function. So first we want to check if the file is sent through the form. So we are using the request and then we append the has file function on it and here we type the name of the input name which in this case is attachment so i'm just going to paste it here and so if it has the file we're going to return yes and if it doesn't you're going to return no Okay, let's test it out. And as you can see, it's returning yes. Now let's try once again without the file attachment. And as you can see, it's returning no. So let's take a look how we can get the file name and display the image that has been passed through the form. So first thing, if the attachment has been sent through the form, we want to save it into the variable named file or whatever you want. Using the file function, we are getting the file that has been sent through the form. And now we can do all the operations to this file variable. So for example, we can print out name the of the file. And as you can see here, it's returning laptop.png. So let's see how we can move this uploaded file to some location on our server. Well, we can use the variable file and then use the move function. 
Now the first parameter is the directory where we want to save it. So it is going to be saved under the public, but we need to define a new folder that is going to be named images. So we want to move it to the directory called images. And on the second one, we need to define the file name. So we are just going to use the original one. Okay, so it looks, it looks good. Now let's see if it actually works. And we got the error that the server is unable to write to the directory images. And that is because of the permissions in the Unix based system. So we want to give the exclusive permission to the daemon on the public slash images. Okay, let's try once again. And as you can see, it probably worked. And file is uploaded to the server.